Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're in the studio here today with Mark Spencer, and we're going to be discussing some of the new features of Final Cut Pro 10.1. Now, Apple made some significant enhancements to workflow, particularly with regard to media management and how your media gets organized into this new uh, library workflow. So Mark's going to start us off by talking about the library model and how to work with it, and then over the ensuing weeks, we'll be looking at some of the other features, working with events, projects, and really kind of getting under the hood and the nitty-gritty of some of these new workflow enhancements that have really will improve the way you're approaching your next project. Right, and very exciting. This is our first Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial. So, you know, brand new version of the app with uh, some pretty significant changes. This is not just like a couple little improvements here and there. There's a sort of a big change to the overall architecture of how you work in Final Cut Pro now. So uh, you're going to actually walk us through the kind of the foundational yeah, structure just, of... Yeah, just uh -huh. get a sense of it. And, uh -huh. and in general, the themes, there are two themes to this, to this update, to 10.1. And one theme is this whole new model for managing your media. Uh, and the second is, the second theme is all of these editing workflow improvements. And we'll get more to those. And those are fairly straightforward, but they're really great improvements that will that I think you guys will really uh, appreciate the ability to, to work faster and easier and do things you couldn't do before. But before that, you really got to get a handle on uh, what's called, what we're called a unified library model, a single library. So I think the best way is just to take a look at it. Let's take a look. So this is what Final Cut Pro 10.1 looks like. And right away, uh, you might notice it looks a little bit different. In particular, down at the bottom left corner here, there is no icon for going to the project library. There's no more project library. There is no more project <laughs> library. So, and that can be um, disorienting if you've been editing for the past two years in Final Cut Pro 10 because there is no more project library. So it used to be that you had an event library up top here with all your events and then a project library down here. Now, instead, those libraries have been combined into a single unified library. It's all been coalesced. Yes, put together. And in a way, it's a very simple thing. So let's look up here. These are our libraries. These used to be, um, you know, collections of events. And there used to be right? hard drives there. Yeah, you'd see hard drives, you'd see events in there, but now we have libraries. And if you open up a library, within the library are your events. So there's the events that we know and the icons that we're used to. Here's where things get interesting. If I select an event, within the event, I have clips like we're used to. So this is where all your media lives. These happen to be multicam clips. But in addition to our clips, we have the projects associated with those clips. So now projects are just another asset within the library. Exactly. So the hierarchy is basically that you have a library. Within the library are events. And then within each event, are the projects associated with that event. Now, you might immediately say, well, wait a minute, my project needs to use media from multiple events, and how can you force a project into a single event? Don't worry, right? right? Don't worry. It, it, yeah, it really, once you get into understanding how this works, it's brilliant because Final Cut behind the scenes keeps track of everything. So if you add clips to a project from other events... Or other it, libraries. Or even. other libraries even, yeah. So what we didn't mention is you can have multiple libraries these libraries can live on any drive that you want. Um, each library can have as many events as you want, and each event can have as many projects. And you're free to mix and match, move projects between libraries, move clips from one library to another project, and Final Cut tracks it all. So um, we'll get much more into the details uh, in ensuing lessons and how this all works. But there are a couple of big implications about this model, okay? And one of the implications is if you're coming to Final Cut Pro 10.1 from an earlier version of Final Cut, there's an update process that you go through. Yes, right? absolutely. In fact, when you first launch Final Cut Pro 10, you're going to end up with a dialogue that looks something like this. That's going to tell you you need to update your projects and events. Okay, um, This is not an um, inconsequential thing. 
uh, I wouldn't just willy-nilly click update all, although for the most part it's going to work, yes. right? But there's some things to understand. In fact, we've published a three-part free tutorial on how to handle the whole update process. And we highly recommend you watch it. Yes, yes. We've done a lot yeah. of testing and yeah. you, just need, you just need to watch yeah. it. Yeah, and it's, it's too long to, to cover in a MacBridge Studio because it's this three part and each part is like 15 minutes long. Uh, so we go into a lot of detail. The reality is you could click update and you're probably going to be fine, but there's some things you can do to make the process go as smooth as possible. A little prep work to set things mm -hmm. up and just so you understand what's going to happen because basically Final Cut's going to take all of your projects and events and fold them into a single library, right, to make to make it work. And it does an amazing job of it, but it's just good to understand. So that's really the first implication is this dialogue and understanding what's going to happen when you, when you update. Um, the other implication, I'm just going to cancel this update, is around importing media, uh, which we'll talk about in, in a future Mac Break episode, probably uh, next week. Probably next uh, week. Yeah, so because that you have these new options and how you have a unified library, when you import media, you need to make decisions about where that media goes. So it works a little differently, right? And then the, the third implication is overall media management. And this is where this new model, because at first you might say, okay, that seems pretty simple. All you did is move projects out of their own library into this library where the events are. Like, what's the big deal? But it really becomes clear when you get into media management, right? When you get into sharing your projects with others, or you want to move your all your media and your projects onto another drive. Or you want to archive your library. Or you want to archive. And, uh, yeah. Set it on the shelf and pull it down later. You're working with a remote editor in another location, and you just want to, you want to get them to have the media, and then you just want to send projects back and forth. All of this stuff has been made much easier to understand and to execute with this new library model. It's just fantastic. Um, the library model has just greatly simplified working with the media. In fact, you rarely even have to think about where your media is now in yes. this new model. And we'll take you through, in fact, we have a whole um, in-depth training, Final Cut Pro 10.1 in-depth at RippleTraining.com that uh, takes you in great detail to really grasp and understand this. Here, we're just trying to lay the basic foundation so you get an understanding of it. But in our training, we really go through exactly what those media management scenarios are like and how to work with Final Cut Pro 10.1. So um, I think it's all we really want to cover right now is get the basic idea out that we have this unified library. Uh, and it's, a, it's probably the most significant change uh, in terms of workflow with Final Cut Pro 10.1. Excellent. So in next week's MacBreak Studio, I'll be covering how to actually import media into your library and your options for where to store your media. That's a, that's a big one, and it's great. So we'll look forward to seeing you uh, in the next week's MacBreak episode. <laughs>